Welcome everyone to the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. What does that mean? Art, decor, lighting, smart home technology, and how they fuse together to create a sense of mood, ambiance, a nice vibe in your space. If you're into that sort of thing, this is what we explore here at the Future Space Collective. So real quick, I had this really awesome Bluetooth stereo for years, and the internal battery finally died on me. I'm looking for a cost-effective Bluetooth speaker that sounds great. You can bring it to a party, a picnic, a beach, whatever the case may be. Maybe in your backyard, having a few drinks with your friends, maybe you're at a pool party. Music is the heartbeat of any gathering. Pro tip. And I think I have found the ultimate solution. Let's check it out. So, this is the Bluetooth speaker that I'm super excited to unbox, to test out, to review. From all the research that I've done, this was at a price point that seemed lower than all uh, competing speakers, but it was very well reviewed. This is what we're looking at here with the box. It's a very nice box, Bluetooth 5.0. 18 hours of battery life, man that's quite substantial on one charge. The box is very well made, hopefully a, a sign of good things to come. Let's see if it goes the distance in terms of sound quality, output, features, look. It is waterproof. It's got a bunch of extra features as well, and it's very well rated. So I'm excited to unpackage this thing. Where oh where did my trusty knife go? Here it is. Okay, so. Let's take a look what we're working with here. So upon first opening the box, this is what we're looking at. I do like how everything seems to be very well packaged. Even the instruction guide, the instruction booklet has its own slot. We got what looks to be just a standard aux cable. So once we take out the top piece of styrofoam, it reveals the main unit here. Of course, the main unit is also in a bag and it's in another piece of styrofoam, kind of like so. Let's see what we're working with here. Look at this thing. Pure monster sound. Well, it's well branded. I'll tell you that much. They got their logo on the top handle here. Look at this thing. Totally futuristic. It's got some buttons at the top here. A power button. Looks like to be a function button. A couple arrow buttons and an M button. On the front here, these are your master ports it looks like. What are we working with here? It does have a USB output, so it has a big battery inside of it. So this is also a USB charger. You can totally charge your devices, your phone, if you plug in a charging cable. The micro SD slot can also read music off of a, a little micro SD memory card. I believe you can also insert a USB stick into this with music on it. And of course, there's the old school methods, just plug in a cable directly. It has a microphone input, which is interesting and the USB-C charging port. Give you guys a little uh, tour of what it looks like. Man, I just think it looks so awesome. It definitely sold me on the look of it. I like eclectic looking things apparently, or things that look like they're out of the future, whatever your idea of the future may be. I don't know. Wow, okay, so let's try to turn this thing on, I guess. Okay, well looking good so far. Uh, you know, I really want to test this thing out. The box is super interesting. Look, look, look what it says on the side of the box here. Let me just read this to you guys. In this sea of speaker offerings, it's hard to distinguish what's good and what isn't. Music is an emotion. You can feel happiness or sadness. The better that we can hear it from the soul of the artist dramatically affects how we experience all the emotion in the music the artist intended. Pretty well, well said, I totally agree with that. Yeah, I'm super stoked to test it out. The thing weighs probably about, I don't know, I'd say four or five pounds maybe. It's got some good weight to it. Comes with a USB to USB-C charge cable to charge it up, plug that into a USB power brick. And it comes with a plain old fashioned headphone, aux cable, stereo mini. 
they go by many different names. You know, look at this thing. It's so futuristic looking. I don't know. It kind of looks like a dumbbell, you know? It's kind of funny <laughs> like that. It looks like a dumbbell. It almost kind of looks like a thermos or something. I don't know. How do you guys feel about the way this looks? I think it looks super, super future forward. I'm totally a fan of how it looks. But enough about how it looks. It's all about how it sounds. So let's test it out. All right. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it is time to run the sound tests of the Monster Bluetooth speaker. So what we're gonna do in order to run a sound test as best as we can through YouTube anyways, is I've set up my trusty Zoom audio recorder right here, that's this device in the front of the frame. That's gonna capture the audio of the room such as it's recording my voice right now. I am not laved up. You are hearing the audio of the room through the Zoom audio recorder. We're gonna use this to capture the audio of the Bluetooth speaker in my room here. And then what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna compare the sound between two other systems. I'm gonna compare it between my hi-fi stereo system in the back, that is those two speakers with the moon lamps on top of them. That, that will undoubtedly sound the best because it is quite significantly more expensive than our Monster Bluetooth speaker. But hey, our Monster Bluetooth speaker is purpose built for portability and volume and power in its form factor. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna test that against, I have a smaller Aki Bluetooth speaker, which is again, a third of the price, about a quarter to a third of the price of the Monster system. So I'm kind of curious how those two are gonna compare as well, because that is also a great small portable package for a Bluetooth speaker. The links will be in the description below for both the Aki Bluetooth system and of course the Monster Bluetooth system. So a few control variables right before we start the sound test. I'm going to leave the audio recording at the same volume level, the same gain, um, capturing the sound of the room through all three tests. So the, uh, the settings are not gonna change on our audio recording. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to match the volume levels of the Bluetooth speakers. So that kind of isolates us to really hear the different tonations and sound quality differences between each three systems. Let's check them out and hear how they sound. there you have it. We've taken a look at the Monster Adventure Force Bluetooth speaker. This is an excellent choice if you want a Bluetooth speaker with good sound quality that goes very loud. That is also a cost effective option that's not going to break the bank. So in conclusion, your dollar is going to be pushed as far as it can in terms of sound output, volume and quality for the price that it is. Check pricing and current deals in the product links in the description below if you wanna check out what it's retailing for right now. But it is a great option if you really wanna, you know, get a little bit extra bang for your buck when it comes to sound output, volume, clarity, and a really cool and funky package that is, you know, a good weight. It's heavy enough to provide some good sound, 
but it's not too heavy uh, that it takes away from the portability aspect of it. So if you're into technology, art, decor, mood setting, vibe setting in your home space, your workspace, whatever space you find yourself in, this is the channel for you, Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you believe in the channel idea and you want to see it grow bigger. I can do better videos, get cooler products on the channel. So it would be a huge help if you can engage with the video or any videos on this channel if you want to see this channel grow. I will do my best to answer any questions about this product or any other products that you see on the channel for as long as I can because I really want to inspire a sense of community uh, moving forward with this channel and the whole idea in general. I'll see you in the next one.